The Checkpoint is presented by GM Pharma, the first international multinational pharmaceutical company in Georgia. GM Pharma, to serve those who need it most. Entrepreneurship and expert promotion, again, this time on the example of the bravest country in today's world, Ukraine. Forbes Georgia had the opportunity to interview the acting director of the Entrepreneurship and Expert Promotion Office of Ukraine, Mr. Andriy Remizov. Our journalist Georgi Tolordava and Mr. Remizov spoke about this above-mentioned state institution and how it helps Ukrainian entrepreneurs and businesses during these challenging times. Uh, first of all, thank you for your time. I'm glad that you are joining us and we have an opportunity to interview acting director of the Entrepreneurship and Export Promotion Office of the Ukraine. Uh, Mr. Remizo, could you tell us uh, what kind of support can Ukrainian entrepreneurs get during the war and does the state and the government help private businesses during these times? Uh, yes, sure. Thank you for your question. So, uh, two years uh, before the start of uh, Russia's uh, full-scale war against Ukraine in February 2020, uh, the first uh, and only uh, national project for the development of uh, entrepreneurship and expert promotion, uh, DA Business, uh, launched by the Ministry of Digital Transformation of Ukraine uh, and uh, in 2021. Uh, the, our institution, uh, Entrepreneurship and Expert Promotion Office, joined to the implementation uh, of this project. And uh, if you're talking about uh, DA business, uh, DA business is a national project uh, and it's a part of the uh, national uh, project the DIA, uh, which means uh, state and media is an acronym. Uh, and uh, this is the brand of digital state of Ukraine. And uh, DA business uh, project uh, uh, helps uh, Ukrainians uh, at all stages uh, of business development, uh, from finding a business idea uh, to entering uh, some international markets. And the project has two components, the DA business online portal uh, in a one-stop shop format uh, and the DA business offline uh, network uh, of support centers for entrepreneurs in uh, Ukrainian regions. Uh, now we have 12 um, uh, support centers in Ukraine. And uh, the DA Business uh, National Portal contains uh, all the necessary information for opening and developing, uh, uh, developing a business uh, on the one resource. We have more than uh, 130 business ideas uh, for potential entrepreneurs we have templates of necessary legal documents uh, for starting a business, various online services. Uh, also, we have more than uh, 50 free online consultation, uh, consultations for SMEs about uh, how to pay taxes, how to create business plan or uh, how to improve something in, uh, in, in business. Yeah. And uh, also, we have all the information about state, private support, some uh, cases uh, from business uh, case studies yeah uh, current news uh, and uh, more than uh, 30 free online uh, services and uh, as of today uh, the number of visits uh, to the DA business portal is more than 3 million times and uh, the DA business uh, network of support centers uh, for entrepreneurs has already been uh, visited more than uh, 45,000 uh, times. Really and, impressive uh, numbers. Yes, thanks you, thank you. And uh, since the beginning of the war, we have launched uh, several information sections of the on the portal and uh, where we have collected uh, all of the necessary information about existing business uh, uh, support and relocation programs, uh, information about state, donor, and private support uh, programs in work conditions, uh, as well information uh, about assistance to Ukrainians who were forced uh, to leave uh, their homes uh, and evacuated to Poland, Germany, Great Britain, and other countries in the EU. And uh, we also launched uh, an information section sections uh, for Ukrainian exporters, which contains information on requirements for exporting during wartime state and private support programs, uh, a partner search uh, service and other information. Uh, also, we um, 
launched a special virtual center for forcible displaced people from Ukraine. Uh, the DIA Business Virtual Center is an innovative uh, hotline format, and uh, the specialist can uh, give advice, free advice on how to register register a business in EU or how to uh, find a job or, or some uh, uh, some social uh, guarantees in uh, other countries and something like that. And uh, another uh, development uh, uh, during the war was the opening of, uh, of the DA Business Support Center uh, for entrepreneurs in Warsaw, in Poland. And uh, here entrepreneurs can get free, and, uh, free offline consultations on legal issues, uh, accounting, taxation, uh, auditing requirement of qualified uh, pers- uh, staff and uh, other types of consultations. And uh, as of today, uh, in this center, we have already provided more than uh, uh, 3,700 consultations free of charge for Ukrainians. And uh, finally, we have maybe more than 40 services for exporters, potential entrepreneurs, and existing uh, entrepreneurs. And uh, I will uh, present a little bit uh, more uh, in our interview. Uh, so you are giving uh, all the strategic information for free for the entrepreneurs? Yes, sure. Uh, it's a governmental support and uh, we collect all of this uh, free of charge for SMEs. Uh, that's great. So you are a uh, business accelerating platform, uh, but on a government level, right? Um, yes, we can say uh, we can say that uh, we are like a uh the huge uh free of charge uh national project database center yeah, yeah from government that's quite yes. interesting uh also okay. i was wondering uh during these challenging times uh how did ukrainian businesses adapt to the war and this changing situation uh, okay, so uh, if we're talking about some statistics, so Ukrainian businesses uh, suffered a colossal uh, shock and losses in the first months uh, of the war, and uh, we uh, like uh, we, we launched some special initiative for analyze uh, of the state of Ukrainian businesses during the war. Uh, and only in March, Ukrainian exporters decreased by uh, 50% from the same period in March 2021. Uh, according to estimates, uh, as of the beginning of the summer, about uh, 47% of entrepreneurs have completely or almost completely completely stopped uh, working, unfortunately. And the world uh, also intensified the closure of businesses in Ukraine. Uh, on average, uh, um, 13,000 uh, 13, uh, businesses uh, entities were closed uh, every month, uh, which by mid-July uh, exceeded the number of registered new commercial enter- enterprises. And uh, currently, uh, Ukrainian businesses shows uh, a slow but... Uh, we can say positive uh, recovery every month. And for example, now uh, 34% uh, of enterprises have completely, almost completely stopped working. So we, we can see the positive uh, dynamics uh, uh, since February 24. And um, export activation uh, of uh, to, to a large, uh, um, like a, extent began at the end of August and which uh, which is uh, connected uh, with the I think uh, unblocking of uh, seaports it's a positive signal for Ukrainian business and uh, they actively work now in the export field and also the lack uh, of uh, sufficient number of solvent customers uh, in, a, in the domestic market uh, is the main problem for business uh, now, unfortunately, uh, which prevents uh, recovery and development. Uh, and uh, one of the strategies for uh, 
uh, overcoming the negative uh, consequences of the uh, of the war for Ukrainian business uh, businesses is uh, export. And we see that uh, a recent uh, survey uh, of entrepreneurs, which we conduct uh, regularly uh, with partners, show that uh, more than uh, forty percent of companies consider the development of exports uh, as an important direction uh, for themselves. And uh, in the, our office, we we have uh, confirmation uh, of this thesis. And this year we received more than uh, 800 uh, applications uh, for participations in some special long-term uh, training program for exporters, Export Academy. So we see that uh, Ukrainian uh, business uh, like uh, has uh, a lot of problem, problems, unfortunately, but they, uh, they are interested in the export uh, field and uh, they uh, like use some instrument for, instruments for that yeah that's a great to hear good news from ukraine and uh, in particular in the export direction uh, my next question is about um, new uh, new opportunities for ukrainian manufacturers for example how does ukraine help its manufacturers to master new international markets and promote their products abroad uh, thank you. That's the good. Uh, that's the good and interesting uh, question. So, uh, if you're talking about uh, entrepreneurship and export promotion office, we are a state institution uh, that implements the DA business national project, as I mentioned before. And uh, one of the main direction directions uh, on our activities is to help Ukrainian companies enter uh, international markets. In this direction, we help Ukrainian uh, businesses uh, uh, by improving educational competences uh, when uh, entering uh, a foreign market and uh, uh, finding partners abroad, uh, as well as organize uh, national uh, stands or national pavilions of Ukraine at international exhibitions. Uh, where Ukrainian companies can uh, present and show their products uh, to the world and uh, hold some B2B meetings uh, with potential partners and find uh, like a new contract uh, for themselves. And the office also helps uh, not only with the organization of Ukrainian Ukrainians uh, stand and uh, exhibitions, but also with the organizing of the B2B uh, meetings with foreign companies. And we have also uh, a lot of tools for, 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 for this, uh, like a request from business. And in 2022, we, uh, uh, together with our team, we, uh, and with our partners, international donors, we organized uh, four national pavilions uh, at uh, large-scale international exhibitions. More than uh, 50 uh, Ukrainian companies uh, from the organic, uh, machine building, furniture and IT sectors uh, of Ukraine took part in these events. And in total, uh, Ukrainian companies held more than uh, seven uh, 700 B2B meetings with potential foreign partners. And in 2022, uh, we uh, plan to organize uh, additional uh, two, uh, two, two more national stands uh, in uh, Sweden and in uh, Dubai. Uh, and uh, in January and February 2023, we, we, we also plan to organize the national stands and pavilions, pavilions of Ukraine at the largest world uh, exhibitions uh, of organic products, Biofach, and uh, at the large scale furniture exhibitions, uh, Winter Las Vegas uh, market. And uh, we, 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 uh, like, uh, we, we want to help uh, SMEs and entrepreneurs to participate in, in some event, uh, such uh, as I mentioned before, yeah, to share and to present Ukrainian products to the world and we want to show that ukraine uh, like it has uh, a lot of interesting companies a lot of interesting products and our companies uh, ready to export and uh, ready to 
cooperate with foreign partners uh, during the war. And uh, also our team uh, is, is constantly developing uh, studies uh, of foreign markets, uh, which are available free of charge in uh, DA Business Trade with Ukraine portal. Yeah, we have a separate section of the DA Business portal only for exporters. So it's called uh, DA Business Trade with Ukraine. And currently the number of uh, these studies is more than 50 studies. Uh, so how does it work? Uh, entrepreneurs can choose the country uh, to which uh, they want to export their products and get a quantity with uh, trends, uh, uh, inf information with trends, market uh, competitors for, for free of charge and receive some uh, recommendation on marketing, uh, on specific market or something like that. Um, that's and quite impressive, uh, I, I'd say. I, I've never heard of a, a function, function like that on the government I, level. That's amazing. Thank you very much. Uh, and uh, that's only a small part of our services. Also, we have a special long-term program for exporters, uh, as I mentioned before, Export Academy. We, um, we launch uh, we launched this program a few months ago and uh, uh, approximately more than uh, 8000 uh, ukrainian companies expressed the uh, desire to participate in this program and we have this like a, a, this program like a special instrument for improving uh, competencies of exporters and um, on a regular uh, regular basis, our office uh, conducts educational sectoral webinars, projects, for example, how to uh, like uh, how to communicate with uh, some uh, customers in during the war, uh, how to digitalize your business or something like that. And uh, also we consult uh, business with uh, very specific uh, questions and topics and requests. Uh, uh, for example, how to uh, make a diagnosis of the uh, market, uh, specific market or how to uh, trade with uh, some companies. And we consult also with these uh, questions and uh, provide a lot of digital services. That's great, Vir. Uh, where can mm -hmm. foreign companies uh, look for business partners in Ukraine, for example, if they want to partner with Ukrainian companies? Uh, is there any kind of special platform for it? Uh, do you have it? Uh, yes, yeah, sure. For this request, we uh, have also developed uh, a special uh, like a uh, web, web page on the DA business uh, trade with Ukraine portal, and uh, it's um, its name like a catalog of Ukrainian exporters. And foreign companies can use this special online tool and find partners in Ukraine. Uh, this catalog contains uh, a, like a verified up-to-date database of contacts of Ukrainian companies ready to supply products abroad in wartime conditions. It's very important. Uh, since the beginning of the war, we uh, we like to check more than uh, five uh, five uh, hundred uh, Ukrainian exporters, and uh, in in this catalog we have approximately more than. 400 Ukrainian companies who actively work now and uh, and they are ready to find some partners abroad. And uh, if uh, some foreign companies want to find partner in Ukraine, uh, they can uh, like a contact to contact the, our entrepreneurship and expert promotion office uh, or direct directly by email uh, sourcing uh, at uh, EPO. Uh, dot or dot ua and our specialist can uh, help uh, foreign companies to find a business partner in ukraine uh, according to like a business request and we collect uh, all of the business requests from uh, foreign countries and uh, publish it on the da business portal and our companies also communicate with uh, potential partners from uh, different countries Understood. 
um, how can foreigners uh, support Ukrainian producers and the country's economy? Is there any kind of uh, platform for it? The general thing is to buy uh, Ukrainian products on the shelves of supermarkets around the world. Uh, it, uh, it can uh, also be done on the national marketplace of Ukrainian gods, uh, gods uh, which we launched together with uh, our partners at the beginning of uh, autumn. Uh, the name of the marketplace is Made with Bravery. Uh, and uh, you can uh, find a lot of Ukrainian uh, products uh, on this marketplace and buy it in online format. Uh, and you can uh, like, uh, do it uh, by the link uh, shop.brave.ua. Uh, and uh, also uh, on this webpage, uh, foreign uh, partners and uh, citizens can uh, like automatically donate uh, some funds to infrastructure facilities uh, that were damaged uh, or destroyed by Russian troops. And uh, I, I'd like to recommend to visit this uh, portal uh, made with bravery to find some products from Ukraine. And the second uh, point uh, is to boycott uh, Russian and Belarusian goods uh, and services uh, in every possible way. Uh, and not to buy the products uh, of the aggressors' countries. This is the like uh, general rule for support Ukraine. Uh, the first, the first one uh, to engage in partnership with Ukrainian companies and trade with Ukraine. Uh, I, as I mentioned before, we have a lot of services uh, for like. Uh, for our foreign partners, you can find uh, Ukrainian companies and Ukrainian goods and services uh, using the special catalog of Ukraine exporters. So you can just go to the GE business portal and find a lot of information about Ukraine and Ukrainian companies. And finally, uh, to support uh, the struggle of Ukrainians uh, in the information space, it's very important and the world should know uh, about all of the crimes that Russia commits uh, against the people of Ukraine every day, unfortunately. And we must uh, all together fight against terrorists uh, in every possible way. And I think that's the, like, uh, all of the points to, uh, which can help us uh, to win this war and, uh, uh, make Ukraine more stronger, yeah, and uh, I think that's all, yeah, Slava Ukraini. Slava uh, Ukraini. Thank you for the interview, I mean, like, what you have managed during these challenging times during the war is quite amazing, uh, and I think a lot of books will be written about your bravery of your people. I hope uh, and I'm sure that Ukraine will prevail and uh, win in this war, and I I wish you all the best. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much for this interview. Thank you for your support. The Checkpoint is presented by GM Pharma, the first international multinational pharmaceutical company in Georgia. GM Pharma, to serve those who need it most.